What's up, guys? To talk BJJ, Bernardo Tavalaro. Uh, today episode we have. Uh, we need no introduction to this guy. He's a few times world champion. You know, conquer a few things in jiu-jitsu. He did okay for his career. Um, good friend of mine, teammate, Marcos Almeida, the famous Bouchesha. Um, guys, I brought him to the show because today episode is going to be trash talk, right? But if you think about it, trash talk, you can talk shit and pretty much call people out and do all that stuff. But the more titles you have, pretty much it gives you the freedom to do that. But Bouchesh is pretty much the opposite, right? He's the guy that least called people out, never called anyone out, never talked shit, always nice to everybody. And he's the guy that has the most titles. So that's the reason why I want to have him here to talk about this subject, right? Because nowadays it became a little trend, I think, because of MMA, it became a little trend, the, the talk shit, right? Like the, the trash talk and people calling people out and saying like, you know, like, I want to fight this guy. I'm the best in the world. I'm the GOAT and all that kind of stuff, right? And you, on the other hand, never called yourself a GOAT, right? Or never thought of yourself as one. Yeah, man, not really. The time that, not me, but we started training jiu-jitsu. We, that, was, that was supposed to be, you know, you go to the gym, train hard, you go compete, win or lose, you get back to the gym and keep doing your thing, you know? Nowadays, people just wait for to win a fight and call themselves the goats and the greatest. So I just don't get it. I'm not from the era. You know? <laughs> You're not from the generation that people spend more time posting and calling people on online more than training, right? Yeah, like I think that's big part. Of course, the social media helps, of course, everyone. But yeah. uh, I think most of the fault it's let's say the social media, you know, it's too easy to spread a message or a lie or like something. So of course, in the other hand, the same, in the other hand, it's good to promote, help with sponsors, sponsors yeah. and fights and promotions. But in the other hand, it's making everyone soft. Yeah. Right? Because it's, you can say whatever you want on the, behind your keyboard and nothing happens. You nothing. Know? I keep months and months just arguing, calling people out and yes. getting attention and, Exactly. That. Never back it up. Like Mike Tyson quote, <laughs> what else, you know? <laughs> Social media make everybody too comfortable because not getting punched Punch in into the face. face. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of like the hard truth, but it is true. Yeah, I think I think I, like like you said it's like social media is really good for the sport because it's like you can put yourself out, you can reach a lot of people and you know, your responses can have more people like for example if it was the back in the day when we were doing like you had to win a big tournament or stuff to be have a picture in a magazine so someone can read you like once a month or so. Now you can post pretty much every day, multiple times a day. And of course, for the sponsors and for the business of jujitsu, it's great. But then you have a few guys and that's what I want to I ask you. It's like because on my point of view, there's people that they do the trash talk and it's kind of like funny kind of some stupid sometimes but they they keep it on inside reality right like they don't go over reality or shit like that you know and there's other people that just be like they want nothing and they talk shit like they're the best guy ever and they're like have five belts from the ufc and they're like won everything in jiu-jitsu and they're like the way they talk and the shit they post. Like, for the biggest example I can give you, it's fucking Dylan Dennis, the one, like, two opens on his life as a black belt, and he calls people out saying, that like, I'm the greatest jiu-jitsu guy ever. And it's, like, delusional kind of calling people out. Like, he does that to jiu-jitsu, and he bag like, he never even fucking won anything on a black belt, pretty much. Like, he won, I think, an open of, like, two fights or some shit like that. That's, like, his record, you know? Like, he's a delusional guy. Yeah, like, nowadays, I think you gave one example, but, like, not just him, but... Yeah, it's, no, yeah. yeah. We can say, like, a full generation of uh, fighters doing this, and so I get it. It's like the, the 
like McGregor era, but yeah. that's for MMA. That's for me. I never like for me it makes no sense doing that in Jiu Jitsu. It's not gonna change your purse. If you look, you get a purse, yeah, you know, yeah, because yeah. if you find for money. So just it's not about the martial art, you know. Jiu Jitsu is about respect, about principles, it's about everything that the Bushido code like teaches and most of those guys don't even know what the Bushido code is, oh, you know, they never read. So it's something that makes me like sad to see Jiu Jitsu going to the wrong direction. Even the social media likes it. I get it. But you gotta have balance, you know, between like yeah. push that too much and like being reasonable. Yeah, reasonable. Yeah. yeah. What so, else? The new, new, the next generation is just gonna be about that. Nobody's gonna have fucking do anything, right? Exactly, and just be on the social media. And I just like I see. I I have a lot of uh, friends that promote, like the promoters that do like some shows, like the ones in Brazil and uh, nowadays that they, they're doing a lot in Brazil, like recently. And man, they invite people to fight. Oh no no, but I don't want to fight that guy because like I beat this guy once and I don't want to give him a rematch. Like, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? A fighter? Like, <laughs> no, but yeah, we we call each other. Like, we know we're discussing too much in social media, so I don't want to lose. So like, so so why the hell you're talking shit yeah, about exactly. it? Exactly. So that that I heard like. I heard my friends telling me that the the promoters of yeah. the events and even watching the post interview fights uh, like I just watched the one not the one that recently in Brazil mm -hmm. but the one before oh yeah I was uh, 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 the fight was like we we were scared to fight because we talk so much in the social media like so why <laughs> You're not even supposed to be saying that, you know what I mean? Like, don't, like, man up. If you want to, like, talk something, like, back it up. Yeah, it's like the, the fight actually should be better because you're talking shit on social media, exactly. right? Like, so you, you got that all wrong. So if, if you want to hype a fight, make a fight Yeah, good. Okay. So yeah. otherwise, make no sense. Just Die with fucking respect, at least, you know? Yeah, it's like, you know like I mean? so fighting. Otherwise, like, you go and stop for 10 minutes, be screwed afraid to risk something do a, so win by one advantage and go back to social media and talks like he fucking submit the guy and yeah open, kill the person you know open the, the gear ah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so i've seen a lot of this so i just don't get it i i, I never approve it i never done you know what i mean so yeah i, I think it's pointless but 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 of course it's like a lot of the people that know you and your fans that follow you it's like even if you did it for all the titles that you have and all the the, the years that you've been like inv invincible like as in like world championship and things like that it, it doesn't really fit your personality you know it's like you're more of the mellow guy and everything and but there's there's a few guys that do it but it kind of fit his personality and i think like like you say like mcgregor like it's part of his personality right so if you talk about the McGregor of the jiu-jitsu and the grappling, it's like, for example, Gordon Ryan, right? Like, he does his things, but people don't stop and they think about, like, what he talks, right? Like, he's clearly, like, even on his page, right? Like, he puts, like, the goat, no gi. Like, he yeah. specifically talks, like, he never came, like, even when, when you guys fought at ADCC after the fight, he was like, man, I just fought one of the greatest guy ever in jiu-jitsu history and everything. It was an honor and blah, 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 blah. He wasn't like it, it was the moment if he was stupid or not like you know not reasonable and not realistic he could like talk some shit and be like yeah man you know look what i did blah 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 you know it, but he it's weird because like people have him as a reference for trash talk but he's a really be like he never really screams or do like crazy shit after he wins you know and like the first time i saw him at world's no gi and i saw him winning the fight and everything and he was like, raised his hand, he didn't scream, he wasn't going crazy, you know, he's still like, kind of like, at some point he's still like, he has that martial artist kind of situation, like he, 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 you can see that he's like, he's, in, he's, he has a little balance on it, you know, like he's not like super calm, but he wants to show off, but he's still control, kind of control himself, like he doesn't, 
I don't see him like passing the point of like being delusional on the shit that he talks, you know. Like, yeah, <laughs> I I agree. So it, it, the the game that he plays, you know, what I mean, like on the social media, it's too easy to cross the line. Yeah, but he does that really well. He sometimes, of course, I think he crossed the line a little bit. But just like you said, you know, I mean, it's something that works really well for him. It brought to him a lot of attention. Yeah. But the most important thing, he's a respectful guy on the mat. A lot of people like they, they you know, go on Google like type motivation, motivational quotes. <laughs> they copy and paste on the caption of the Instagram pictures, and they play that they are nice people. But in reality, when they beat someone, they yell. They don't respect. Yeah. Like I saw guys beating like friends of my multiple times world champion and yelling you know over the guy to to the coach and to the to the friends and, so yeah. like make no sense you know i i, I should be the opposite if you beat like a legend you you respect it respect, you show yeah. some respect so so what so what's right what's wrong you be a like a dick on the mat and we're super nice and guy super on the nice fucking on Instagram yeah. and like try to motivate people, but like supposed to be like you're supposed to be a same person in yeah. and out of the mat. So, yeah. but at the least, Gordon is a like I like the I like the guy. You know, what uh -huh. I mean, he's really respectful with me. I, yeah. I never really had problem with him, and I get it. His humor. On, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Internet, so sometimes know? he calls some people out, and it's funny. But <laughs> the guy is funny. You know, you gotta you gotta get the joke, and you know what I mean. Of course, yeah. most of the time, I mean, he's never talking about me, so maybe that's why I think it's funny. But maybe if I would be the the subject, the target, I wouldn't well, be like would think be different. so yeah. funny. That's true, of course. But uh, I I get it, you yeah. know. And the most important thing, he talks a lot. Yeah, he yeah. does. But at least he back it he up. He backs it up, right? Yeah. Like, so. And he run doesn't run from from a fight. Like he'll fight people no, that yeah. does not even have like the titles that he does or anything. He just could be like, okay, I'll fight you. Yeah, like he, he doesn't really care, right? It's like yeah. Sometimes I see he complains a lot because he want to fight like a certain rule set and uh -huh. like. But that's but he fought pretty much every rule set. He never fought the gi, but I think he never will because mm -hmm. it's not his thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think because that's. He respects me a lot too because he know like I'm a geek guy. And yeah, and, 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 he, and he fought the lower belts too, so he know how hard it is too. Like, yeah. yeah, and at the other hand, he he like I, I'm pretty much fought like my the gi the whole li my whole life, and I just take the gi off two months before the EDCC to train for a, the biggest competition. Yeah, you know so like I mean? once so, every two years. Yeah, so he he, he I think he respects about that because. He, I'm like just the same like him, you know. What I mean, I don't run away of challenges, and yeah. that's I think that's why. Yeah, but, but but like like the personality thing too is like how I see it between like you, right? Like some people call you out, some people say shit, and and like we're personal friends, and I see you, you like sometimes you read like texts and shit like that, that like on on like that people call you out on Instagram or they tag you or talk some shit. And you're always like, man, this is, it's like, sometimes you're like, man, I feel like answering, but it's like, it's so stupid to answer some shit like that. That's like, why the hell am I going to do it? You know, but Gordon's the other way around. He answers every single person that writes anything and tags him on his name. Yeah. I mean, he, he got, he got, <laughs> he got a lot of, he gives a lot of attention for that. And I don't, I don't really care, you know. I mean, I, I think I spend a lot of time on my phone already. So imagine if I, if I answer everything, like I would be the whole day in the phone. So I wouldn't have like a life. I mean, I'm not talking about him, him I'm talking yeah. about myself. And sometimes when, like, of course, I never try to reply, but I see a lot of times, yeah, but if you, Bushesh, I fight this guy today, he's gonna get his ass kicked, blah, blah, blah. Then I said, wow, champ. That's it. Sounds good, you know. I just I just take the guy and say, yeah, you're right, champ. Like thumbs up emoji. Yeah, like, what I gonna say? Then the guy, oh man, big fan. Like, what? So why are you like, talking shit? So why are you talking <laughs> shit, man? Like, chill out. You know what I mean? So I I, I remember I I just stopped reading social media. Like a lot. Of course, I read most of the time. I don't. 
care too much. Of course, when it's on my page, yeah. I give more attention, you know yeah, what I mean? Because course, people yeah. went there in my picture, tagged me and you know, posted something. So I, I read more. But if it's some random page, I don't even read because I remember when I was like, the toughest moment of my career, my life, uh, you, you were there. Yeah. Uh, I, I was dragging to the hospital in an ambulance because I tore, I tore three ligaments of my knee and I was in the bed. Like, I didn't know what to do. didn't know how bad was the surgery. I was waiting for the result of the MRI. And I was written, uh, then I got my phone and I was like, people, yeah, Bushesha fake it because he lost it. So he fake it, he got injured. Like, what a the dick. Fuck? Like, it's like, I wish to see that guy in that moment and I would kick him with the <laughs> broken leg. You know what I mean? Because, like, what are you thinking about? Like, man, I lost so many times. Um, and you think that's a problem for me winning or losing? People like, yeah, yeah no, he faked it because he saw he was losing. Like, I was winning the fight. Oh, what yeah. a dick. Like, yeah. could, I mean, of course, when I hurt my knee, I ended up on the floor. Yeah, the but guy, still, the, the fight was tight, I think. Yeah. No, no, I was yeah. winning. Yeah. When I got hurt, I was winning. Yeah. So, like, then after that, I said, you know what? It's not making good for me to read all these comments. So, I just, after the moment, I stopped giving like too much attention yeah to too much attention for it and man my life got like, better because of that because like you know like i wish to have time to do it but i don't care you know what i mean i did so much and yeah. that's not what i'm gonna change my my life uh -huh. so it's it does it, it, i don't really care that's the thing mm -hmm. you know i appreciate yeah. my fans i appreciate people who support me i appreciate like when I get positive message, but negative message, I don't, I don't care at all. So and, and it's funny too that a lot of the times the people that talk this shit like this guy were like, oh, he was faking or some shit like that. And you see it, it's the, those like people call right, like the keyboard warriors, right? Yeah. It's like someone that never fought. they fought like twice in the Pan Ams and like they lost first fight. And those are the guys that are like, yeah, the referee, like, yeah. stole my mad. Like, no. they don't know what's like. Like, like, Fim <laughs> like Fim Fo, you always say, yeah, you know, no complaints. I lost. It is what it is. But <laughs> three dots. After the three dots, man, you got like, like a, a huge, a huge <laughs> page of like, I mean, it is what it is. You lost, but there is no but. No, no you said no, it's always like no excuse. Yeah, but yeah, then it's exactly. like <laughs> no excuse. You know it is, what it is. But why? But you lost. But I think that's one thing that I don't like. People who lose, like I, some of the guys, they never lose. Oh yeah, no. always somebody's fault. Like man, you were there. You shook the guy's hand. You're supposed to finish the guy you didn't, so don't blame no one. You know? Yeah. If oh, it was the referee's fault, well, he didn't. Yeah. So it, like Leozinho said, right? Like don't, don't, yeah, don't, like, don't, look, don't leave it to the referee's exactly. hand. You know. The, it's otherwise, it. the, the end of the day is your fault. Ah, but it was mistake. It was his mistake. Yeah, but <laughs> it does nothing. If you submit the guy, you wouldn't have this problem. We, you, we wouldn't have in this conversation, this conversation yeah. right now. So that's how I see it. Yeah. And and you think it's like you think because it became two things, right? It's like you think it became you think the social media the difference between you when you were like even the beginning, right? Like when you're a your first year as a black belt. You already had the Instagram, you already have those things, right? Like two thousand twelve, thirteen, like there was already Instagram going on a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Do no, you yeah, do a little, a little bit. bit, right? So it's like do you think it, it was the generation that started talking bringing the trash talk oh because after ufc became so popular and so big and like the like you like you said it like the mcgregor kind of generation shows up or it was like a generation kind of situation because you don't see like even the old school like hodolfo guys leandro you like pahao pena andre galvão like those guys are like they like andre answers more and he gets more like like he he does a little bit of a fighting and arguing, yeah. but he doesn't. They, you guys never start. I've never seen you guys like starting an argument or like talking some shit or things like that. You know, and you think that's like it's the generation plus the McGregor, or you see some, or there's some old school guys that are like 
try to jump on that train of the oh let's talk some shit too right there's like there's not a lot of like the kind of the old school raised guys right it's like they don't fucking do that kind of shit yeah like uh just like you said you know i never i never saw marcelo garcia shandy ribeiro jacaré roger at the time when i started yeah uh, verdun terere that was the guys that i grew up watching and man they 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 like this most similar thing that we heard at the time it was when somebody was talking shit for Terere and he started eat dancing and that was like yeah that's it and today yeah. this is like you see every day this you know what I mean yeah. that was something that was really like remarkable back in the day it was 2004 and people still talking about but was something that was natural you know what I mean yeah, it's part it of happened you know yeah. it was like but somebody was talking the face like face to face that's how I see it. if I have problem problem with someone I, I I rather talking the guy during the tournament or something hey come here like I yeah. did before uh -huh. me and the guy yeah. because it's about respect it's about like hey I think you're getting too personal man you're we gonna have a problem if you then the guy okay okay then that's it so if when you argue in the internet you know arguing for the guy you really think it's like you arguing for the tension for the intention and for who people like oh people we'll read this so i have to like i don't care what people think if my problem is with you i want to solve that with you i want to uh -huh. like get get it done mm -hmm. with you so that's why i never like really care about internet and being honest would you ask about when we started like i mean i i created like instagram in 2012 i think but i can't say i don't remember when it was if it was before if it was after i remember um of course i was using instagram i was used but i remember then people started using too much for like sponsors and everything so yeah. uh, that was good so then i see the the changing but then to like the for that kind of purpose i don't really remember if it was before or after mcgregor Of course, McGregor is a guy that does that really well. Maybe like give a lot of incentive for people. All, yeah. People think they're gonna get, but it's like, but like you said, it doesn't. doesn't. He talk, he talked that much shit, but he fought a boxing match for seventy five million dollars. You know, you can't say the guy's wrong. Yeah, fuck, oh well, shit! Anyone would talk some shit to yeah. seventy five million dollars. If you're giving that money, I fight boxing with anyone right now. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. But, but it's like, Mackie Greg works for him. Then yeah. a lot of people want to do that in UFC, but never gonna be the same. Like it happens in Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, it works for Gordon. But then people try to do the same, but like looks. I, I feel bad for the guys. Like I said, man, don't do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not no, gonna I work feel, for yeah. you. You, you. It's. I feel like a shame for the guy. Like it's not a natural thing, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, the, some guys barely can speak English and like try to argue with him and like. So I said, uh, stop. It's being embarrassing. You know, yeah. it, like you're never well, gonna be. It, 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 even like people that, that they don't know shit. Like, not not they don't know. No, like they will talk some shit. And they for, they don't know the facts behind it. We're like Ronaldo was arguing with him, right, about the fight, and they they set up the fight and everything. Then Gordon was like, "Man, I don't need to fight you for money, you know. I'm yeah, I'm sending like a million dollars on on my DVDs." And Ronaldo was like, "Ha ha ha ha, million dollars! Oh, stop joking on your dreams." Then he freaking print screen the the yeah. the receipt from like from his selling of the DVDs, and he's like, "Here we go, boy." <laughs> it's like, yeah, like you know. Then it's like. Yeah, that's get one your of, facts straight. You know, like yeah, yeah. that's something that I, um, I mean, you don't need to. to yeah, put your embarrass yeah, yourself. That, <laughs> that's that, in situations like that, and so it's it's just weird, you know. And do you, do you think it it's gonna get worse, or or at some point it's gonna get better because it's gonna get old? Because the McGregor's right now, it's like there's not that many people talking shit anymore yeah. in the UFC. You know, it's like yeah. It is it, yes. It's not anymore. Why? Because the UFC stopped promoting him too much. Mm. I I think it's my opinion. So UFC barely talks about McGregor. 
Before was only McGregor. Yeah. But if the media in Jiu-Jitsu support that 100%, why people who think that is the way they're going to stop? They're never yeah, gonna because win. then people are going to like, man, I need the attention for my yeah, sponsor, so I might so, as well just start talking some shit. All right. So it's been six months that I never signed up for a tournament. So you know what? Gonna talk shit on the internet. Then yeah. my name gonna be there. So yeah. Oh, oh there's there there there's there yeah. ADCCs coming. I better talk some shit, or else most not gonna invite me. Yeah, exactly. So, and then the media. Oh, okay, the guy talk shit, but it's not supposed to be like that. That's why I I say the media needs to cover a little bit. Yeah, but it's not just about that. I get it. It yeah. sells it's the but, content, and people yeah, like but, it. You have to show everything about respect, about martial arts, about principles, and about the trash talking too. But the life, the sport is not about trash talking. So sometimes the media, it feels like desperate, let's yeah, say like yeah. that. So that's why they they love that. But that's how I see. Yeah, yeah because I'm not they, saying they're doing a bad job. Uh, they, they are making like a great job, but... Just the subject choice, it's kind of like they, they only going for that, right? Exactly. It's like, yeah. Sometimes they go too much about for something that shouldn't get so much attention. Yeah, yeah, I, I feel the same way you do. It's like I, I think the media, like they, they cover these guys and they give attention to these guys, and it's like. Why the fuck are you even talking to this guy about about this guy? Like, like even Gordon, right? Like he he taught on ADCC last ADCC. Dylan Dino was like, "Oh, I have a broken heart. I can't compete." And the media like made a a post about it, like it was a big deal. Like it was like you or Gordon or like someone that's like the guy that has the chance of winning the title or one of the main guys from the event pulled out. And it's a guy that lost like won one fight and lost two fights of his career on the ADCC, had no chance of winning, zero chance of winning, and they cover him. But and it's like, why the fuck are you talking about this guy? And even Gordon was like, Why the hell are you guys talking shit? Why are you guys even posting about this guy? It's like he's a no one. You know? It's like other people call out of the week before that was more important than he was. You and know, they didn't get so much attention. And, yeah. So, yeah, you understand? Like they didn't talk about like, oh, what about this guy? You know, oh, we have this guy came back this year. You think this guy? No, it's like, oh my god, Dylan Dan is not like for what? Because he fucking coached like freaking Conor McGregor, and that, it's the, not that he did a good job because he got fucking every time he loses he got submission. Anyways, yeah, I mean it's something. I think like I said about Gordon Ryan, it, he plays really really like on the edge about crossing the line yeah. or not and the media plays like the same but most of the times they, they cross they, the yeah line. they cross the yeah, line yeah they go too much and they are like a lot of people were like what's the word like, crit criticizing like, criticizing yeah, yeah criticizing them because that's what you got when you cross the line and if somebody's giving like okay you're not doing a really good job sometimes because maybe you're not so yeah that's why i think i'm i'm not saying they just doing a bad job but sometimes they give too much attention for something that they don't and they of course should, yeah. the media nowadays is great it's doing a great job with the sport helping the sport grow a lot but you gotta be careful playing on the edge because it's tricky, you know what I mean? So it's not good when uh, most of the community is not supporting you. So I think it's yeah. not something. Well, and, and what I think, I think what they don't, they don't understand is the, the community, sometimes, I think they only see the likes and the views. So they don't see that their main attraction that's like they're nothing without the fighters. So the community of the fighters, a lot of them are like, why the hell? Everybody's like not happy with the way they are. You know, it's like they, they think the same way. It's like, why they don't cover this tournament or why they don't turn it, that tournament? You know, and it's like, why why they give attention to this guy? And in the end of the day, you can have 5,000 likes. Yeah. If, if it gets to the point that the fighters don't want to freaking deal with you, you not gonna have anyone give you interviews and shit like that, you know. Like, if all the fighters that are not happy, they will just turn their back towards the media. They're, well, they're fucked because it's like who they're gonna interview, 
you know, or like, oh, who's going to cover this? Oh, they're going to cover it? For like, fuck it. I'm not going to do it, you know? Yeah. I I think they're, I think the media think they they have like too much on their hands so they can do whatever they want. And I I can understand it's like they need the content and the everything else, but I think they're promoting and raising kids to like a next generation of like shit talking and not backing it up, you know, and 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 it's kind of weird because it's like a lot a lot of the people that talk the most shit and they like do all the talking, it's not the most successful ones. Yeah, I agree. I think it's great. You you gotta have people like Mackie Gregor in the sport. Yes. Yeah, it makes it fun. Of yeah. Of course. But you have to have people like George St. Pierre. Yeah. You have to people like different champions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. so I think, of course, we need Gordon Ryan. Of course, we need people like him. But it's not everyone needs to be like him. Yeah, He's no. a unique guy. He's nobody going to be like him. You know, that's, I feel like me. You know what I mean? I never yeah. try to copy anyone. Even the style in the jiu-jitsu or even like personality. That's who I am. And that's how I try to be on the mat and outside of the mat. So if people try to be, try to copy me, they're never going to be me. You know what I mean? And like, they try to do on the mat, so of course with titles, that's something that they aim for. That's great. Yeah, I feel like uh, a, uh, they well, should, right? Yeah, yeah, they should because like th that's something to go after. You know, try to break my record. That's great, but don't try to be me. You know what I mean? Try mm -hmm. to be better or like yeah. try to be yourself. So that's how I see it. I'm not trying to be there to like make people want to copy me or something. I, ju I just want to be a, a role model, mm -hmm. like an inspiration. Yeah. And that's how I see I, I We need people like me in the sport, of course, and we need people like Gordon. Yeah. And we need people like different, like champions like we have. I don't need to name them all, mm -hmm. but everybody has a different, like Leandro Lo, Rodolfo, yeah. the old guy, the old school guys that I said uh -huh. before. Yeah. So that's how I see it. Oh, and and I, the the whole thing about the media too is they don't see it that they're raising a generation, and I think they're raising people too. Is like people that for them the natural thing they will not talk shit, but because the media covers and they see so many guys that are shitty or they have less titles and they did less things on the sport, getting covered and getting the attention, so these people go after the attention, so they start talking the shit. And like for example, Hulk, right? He's like man, he's a great jiu-jitsu guy and he's like super nice guys and everything, but he gets caught up when freaking arguing with, with Gordon so much then on the end the fight never happens. Then he's like, you go to his page, it's like more pictures of Gordon, the last few pictures than him and his sponsors and shit like that. And it's like, dude, it's like... And man, if you look like pictures, pictures a little while ago, him, Gordon, hang out together, so... It's I never know when it's like they are joking or they talking like seriously. So it's I don't know. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying because I know they they were like friends. They were hanging yeah. out and uh -huh. but now they like a lot, they cross the line a little bit, like calling each other names yeah. and mothers. The like, mother, yeah, yeah like, fucking so, doing names and like fucking exactly. So like, well, man, like feel like you know. I, I, mean? I can't understand if you want to promote a fight, but it's like. But then you got a certain point that it's not in the internet that you're gonna solve the problem. You know, what I mean, you're not gonna say, "Okay, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm wrong." Like, so just fight whatever and stop with that. You know I mean? Yeah, it's so weird because like when they were on the top of this argument, I went to Hulk's page and it was like the last I counted, I actually counted the last nine pictures. Seven were about Gordon and his argument with Gordon. Yes, I think so. It's like. Dude, you're like, you you're promoting more the guy than you are yourself for even a fucking fight. So it's like, yeah. So I like, see but but lot. but I see him like he probably done that because of like the past few times nobody called him or like instead of him wasting his time to promote himself or like try to talk to it, an event and everything and be like, hey, what's up, man? Give me a fight or something like, hey, I want to fight this guy. Let's make it happen. Or even call Gordon and be like, hey, let's make some money. You know, it's like. Let's 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 try to promote our fight or some medias and shit like that. You know, it's like he was wasting his time making like three hundred posts and talking some shit. And like you said, it's not even natural. It's like weird yeah, the way the fucking yeah. That's 
one example, one of the example about like being not something natural, and I agree. I see a lot of drama is going on right now with a lot of trash talk between uh, Galvão and Gordon. Do you think so, that fight's gonna happen? Man, I, uh, being honest, uh, I heard Gordon said, "Okay, I put a million, then you put five hundred thousand, and we fight. The winner takes all." Okay, <sighs> but it's a, okay. It's a good deal. But man, if I want to fight somebody, I'm, I, I don't I mean, need a million. I, I mean, I'm, I okay. The money is good, but. I have to put money, you know what I mean? That's supposed to be... I supposed An to event get, supposed to fucking pay Exactly. You. If somebody paid me and I get paid, then I fight. But then wow. I'm going to put my own money and like, of course, ah, so you don't like confident. Um, of course I am, but you have to be reasonable. Uh -huh. like, so you can lose. But, and, like, yeah. You know what I mean? So, no, definitely. So but, that's why I don't think the fight's going to happen in mm -hmm. these terms. Okay. But if somebody put the money and then it's something different but i don't know like if like this is gonna happen and i don't think this fight's gonna happen in adc either yeah i i mean if i were on one of them i i don't think i would fight because yeah. of if if you if you're promoting so much you might as well just freaking find an event that will give That's you a percentage right. for Instead, for 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 the pay-per-view or some stuff like that and actually make shitload of money exactly. right instead of like forty thousand dollars forty thousand dollars are good money it is but yeah time's changing so yeah, andrea, yeah andrea yeah. is the one that most adcc titles he had the most to lose too yeah i mean and gordon is like the guy going after of course he's like the guy who is winning everything in the moment but andrea still has more titles than him so mm -hmm. i i so, it, so it's pretty much the title for the goat of no gi almost like like at least gordon thinks uh, it is right yeah i think but, gordon thinks he's like he needs to beat andre to be like yeah but i don't think because but it's beating, he's he's yeah. not gonna win all his medals and everything exactly. right like he That's, doesn't take all the credit from andre or anything then for 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 in my opinion like if he beats andre yeah. then he wins super fights then he got like seven or eight times adcc champ then, then okay yeah, yeah. yeah then okay I, I got it i'm not thinking about goat or no but if you want to say goat you can win a tournament one time and call yourself a goat you know what i mean that's how oh, i yeah. see it oh, yeah, but yeah. he's on his way he want to do it he want to fight the division he want to fight the open he want to like get two titles in the same year because he he's not supposed to but i get it yeah you know what i mean uh -huh. nobody never done but he get he's confident that he's gonna do it I get it, but then he's gonna have if he wins next one, the division yeah. in the super fight. Then he got like four, five, five. Still behind. Still, then he has to win. Yeah. like two more, three yeah. actually. Then he's gonna beat. I Be don't know. Under, no, yeah, two more. Yeah. yeah, two more. Yeah. So that's how I see it. Then okay, you got titles. Then, then one guy start fighting the world championship. He win twice, three times, four. Start then climbing. okay, I'm the greatest. I quit. Like. Come on, like you, <laughs> you won like the open way two times, and you, you know what I mean. So it's not like that. I'm retired. I won twice. I'm great. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, they, I, 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 they call I, themselves the king and shit like that, right? And slap the fucking man and be like, "Yeah, I'm the greatest ever." It's like motherfucker, yeah, like, you and another. It's I'm not saying it's something easy, but like you said, it's like you have two titles. There's people out there yeah. that have, man. You have like almost seven times more, yeah, like, and you never had to scream or anything and call yourself the king. And, and there's like people with two titles, there's well, in reference, right? There's there's a lot of people out there and they're humble about it, they don't talk shit, they're in the hall of fame, they have four, five. Yeah. We have people that have like sex, like seven, six, and everything, and it's like they don't talk that shit, so it's like chill the fuck out. Yeah, that's some like I man, I, I remember I was having a conversation with one fighter and he said, Oh no, like you're supposed to quit, you're supposed to uh, retire. You see that guy, he has the perfect career. Like, what are you talking about perfect career? Like what how many times he won? Like ah, a couple of times then he quit. He was young. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like I don't see that like like a perfect career because like you stop early and you didn't lose. So imagine if I was scared to 
to lose, to, right? To lose, yeah. and never would get so far. So yeah, that's how I got so like got so many titles, and that's how I accomplished accomplishment so so much in my career because I never really care about like oh no, I'm the goat, I can't lose, you know, like. And the whole, and the whole thing it doesn't really matter if you lose one fight it doesn't make it doesn't make it doesn't take the I think that's what people don't understand because you lost the fight or not it doesn't take the credibility of what you have done or shit like that yeah you know? that's so like, that's what I'm saying if he, if he Gordon fights Andre and beats Andre of course he beats Andre wow that, like, yeah that was great but that doesn't mean that he's better than Andre because of the fight if yeah. in my opinion if they they want to do like that, then it was supposed to be like three fights at the least. Three. Like then, better, better of three. Yeah. yeah, I mean, then it's yeah, something they'll, they'll more nice fair. Though, for... But at the same time... It's a good idea right there. But in the same time, like, man, Andre is fighting for so no, long. But, he's but, not but, his, yeah, like, yeah, he's not you know like on his prime yeah, or anything like right that. I mean, you know, he's, he, I mean, man, he's 38. Exactly. Next year, he's going to be 38. So let's say... If Andrea with 30 years old, like fighting, you like know, the Gordon, or, yeah, so would it be different. So, he's a, man, he's a different generation. You give, you need to give props for Andrea because, man, he's like 38 years old and winning, like, yeah, same, man, yeah, man, man, like the last, the way that the he, last, won, he the beat last ADCC was impressive, yeah, like impressive, I never yeah. seen, uh, like there, you know, like a uh, performance like there. Yeah, and and if you want to go to stuff like this, Andrea Gavon. I like Pena a lot, but he smashed Pena. And yeah. <laughs> Gordon got killed by Pena every time. He lost twice already. Yeah, you know. You know, so, so it's like, it, yeah, so if you think about, like, Gordon saying, like, oh, I did this, I did that, then Andre Galvão can be like, man, the guy that beats you twice, I beat him and I took him for nothing. But, man, you know, uh, uh, they, they, they are saying the ending. They are? <laughs> like, they are. Okay. That's like, yeah, I, I, see the man, they are. I, like, <laughs> I see that all the oh, time. Oh, They're saying exactly like this. And, you know, like, the only way to solve that is, like, fighting. So, yeah, but fine, the thing okay. is, I think the, the fight is not going to happen anytime but, but, soon. But you, but you think because I understand the threat, too. Like, I think, like. We, we, on the beginning of the arguments and everything, Andrea was more was the one that like, hey, I remember like two years ago, so he was like, hey, I want a million dollars or some stuff like that. He posted it out, right? Like last year or so. And I understand because he, like you said, it's like, one, he needs to stop teaching, taking care of his yeah, gym, of start training, do all that stuff to fight someone that didn't do the work that he did. He didn't put the ears and the titles and everything. So I can understand why Andrea wants the money like because he wants to be like yeah because then if I lose to you and you can call yourself the goat at least I make a shitload of money on the fucking fight. Yeah, of course. If you like thinking about that, it's true. Yeah. But man, I uh, but at the end of the day, Andrea doesn't need to prove anything no, at yeah. all. So and even if he lose the fucking fight, does it? Yeah, does, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's not like, gonna shit. change what he did yeah. in his life, in his career. But if I were Andrea, if you want me to fight. Yeah. You better pay me a good money. You know well, I mean? No, so, I, like, I think so too. So it, 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 it's not a smart thing to do. Yeah, that's why I think Gordon like fight for le less money. He he would he don't care because of that. I mean, who has the bigger responsibility is it's Andrea. Andrea yeah. You know what I mean? I remember when they they talk about that like a million dollars fight. I was I was in my vacation time. I was in Brazil <laughs> having a good time. I remember it was like late at night. I was stopping in a restaurant to eat, kind of like had a couple of drinks. I said, damn, a million dollar fight, I would fight right now. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> of course, it's about money. Like, yeah. But, but. but yeah, now I understand. But I, I think for I think for Gordon, like he's not, I think Andres thinking more about the money, but He's right. No, he's the whole thing is all, yeah. No, he's he's all about the money. Yeah, I mean, I don't see another. And I don't reason. fucking blame him. I, I mean, he's one hundred percent right. He doesn't have to prove anything. I, I mean, of course, Gordon is a great guy. Gordon yeah. is the guy yeah. of the moment. But Andre, like, is fighting for so long. He's uh, I, because I, I get it. Andre said, like, man, you can say, okay, man, this new kid is killing everyone this year, like on the gi, yeah. you know, he wants to fight you. I said, good for him, but I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't want to fight him. Don't have motivation to fight him. Yeah. Okay, but we're going to pay you a lot of money to fight him. Then now we're talking. Because I fought my generation. I fought the older generation. 
I fought a lot the young generation. generation yeah. So like then always and it's always funny because like give me a fucking reason to fight this person, yeah, right? Exactly. And yesterday I saw like a comment on some fighting and about like the new kid about a kid that just fought. Yeah, no, I, I want to see Bushesha fight this guy again. And but this time I wanna see Bushesha beat that guy. Now I I don't think so. Then somebody said they fought. Bushesha beat him. Yeah, but it was like two years ago. Now it's different. Then, like, <laughs> the then fuck? I said, "All right, champ, good. Yeah, That's okay. it." Yeah. Then the guy just ignore and respond. The guy after, below me. So, you know what I mean? Why are you gonna keep fighting that guy? Why are you? Why are you think like I'm supposed to do that? I'm... No, yeah, I, th I, I, I think that there's. There, there, there's a few things, right? Like, if you're in a tournament and you fall with a guy on your side of the bracket and you fight, you're fighting for the titles, so you don't care who you're going to fight. You know yeah, yeah, exactly. That's how I always yeah. said. There's that. And two, if if it's a super fight, there's only two reasons you fight a person, right? One for revenge or you want to beat the person. So it's a personal situation. Like, I want to beat this guy for some reason. Yeah. For a personal reason. Or like you said, it man, everybody, everybody, and anyone has a price, you know, on the fucking to put yourself out there and fucking fight. Like you said, it's like I never fucked boxing before, but if they fucking offer you seventy five million dollars, you punch your mom in your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's like it, it doesn't matter who it is. So I I think Gordon is going to try this fight because for him it's more of a personal because every like he called himself gold and every time he calls himself gold totally personal than pe pe money pe people because, are like because, what about andrea yeah right? because like you said he makes a lot of money he yeah. doesn't need them finding yeah, he money, doesn't need so money he, yeah so it, it, but i i respect that from him because that's that's a good thing yeah but i get the andrea side too you know what i mean that's what i'm saying i get i get gordon If, if yeah, but Andres is in the stage of his life. Like, I don't care like, if you call yourself uh, a gold. It's uh, like that, I did what I did. It's like because if you think about it, it's like if Andres retires him, retired right now, he's yeah. gonna be he's gonna have to be like he, Gordon's still gonna have to carry the what about Andre? What about yeah. Andre? You know, and it's like and Andres is gonna be like for you to anticipate and end this argument with probably all their people talking shit on the internet, you're gonna have to fight me. But and then Andres is like, give me money. And, and, the fight. and at the same time, Andrea could retire like easily any day, and yeah. Gordon never gonna have this fight. So he always gonna have this in the back of his head. Oh so my god! I think he doesn't want to die. The, and I, I, I think Gordon would fight them, the, make the fight without yeah. even like a purse. You know what I mean? Because oh, yeah. it's something. And I, I had this in my life too. You know, oh, fight this guy. I don't care about the purse. And but one thing that I always like make me fight like especially super fights it's i need to respect my opponent like okay. i need to respect the guy like i told uh, the people who uh, i remember people who call me out in the internet said look that's not how I go you're gonna make me like fight gonna, you yeah. you know that's not because like i need to respect my opponent so that's always when i, I fought it's against guys that I respect a lot. So yeah. that's they, because they, like they deserve to fight you. Like. Yeah, that's that's how I say not they deserve to fight me, but at least they respect me. So I need mm, like yeah. I respect you, you respect me. Okay, let's fight. So it's not about It's not about the challenging you. It's the way yeah, they exactly. they they like, yeah. Yeah, right. I want to fight you. I said good for you. So you want to fight me? You'll get in line. I'll be there in the <laughs> pyramid. On June, so sign up, open weight, and <laughs> please win your fights, and then we fight. Yeah. A lot of guys, I can't help you on that part. Like, right? <laughs> yeah, they lose before, the, the, so it's my fault. Yeah, you never fought me. I, I would beat you, but I was there. You, yeah, it's you pretty won. much like qualifying, yeah. right? It's like I, exactly. I, I'm on the, so. that side. I made my part. I got to the finals, and so like, that's why I get mad because a lot of times I win. I win the open weight, then people like, yeah, I want to fight, blah, blah, blah. I said, no, dude, stop. You lose. Like, you're supposed to fight the big show, the final, and you didn't. You so, didn't, like, yeah. I did my part. You didn't You didn't do yours. So, now, you want to do a show, like, after my camp, and 
you want to make me train all again so it's not gonna be like that you know what i mean i'm not yeah. and, and i'm not a guy that get prepared to do one fight or i rather mm -hmm. prepare to fight like the worst Worlds, against yeah. the toughest guys done so i never had the same motivation you know to fight like a, a super fight against one yeah. guy 10 minutes like Mm -hmm. done the world so i never like because i trained my whole life to fight tournaments against a lot of people so so i never had the same motivation to fight a super jiu-jitsu super fight against yeah. one guy because of that you know what i mean so i always read to go to cure or die against a lot of people so when it's like against one guy i the, never had the same motivation yeah, to get prepared uh, to train so much so i think that's why i never was like a big fan of super fights you uh -huh. know what i mean And I think that's why I never get good results in super fights either. Because even like, I, of course, I I won a lot, mm -hmm. but never was my best but, performance. But, but but you think that's like, that's a good point. I never thought about it. But you think it's like a mental thing that's like you're not focusing on one person, so you you focusing on the on the on the big prize and like the winning the whole thing. So it's just more. It's just easier for you to like you. You're more motivated because. You don't know who who you're gonna have, right? Yeah. Then a super fight, maybe sometimes you're like, oh, I'm gonna fight this guy, and you're like, oh, okay, it's only one fight, so it's like maybe like on the back of your head, you kind of relax too much for the fight. Yeah, I wouldn't say the word relax, but makes me com too comfortable, I yeah. think. And of course, when you train for the words, I have in my mind, okay, I'm gonna fight against two eight days guys. And And man, uh, if you watch my fights, if you watch my, the brackets, I always fight like most of the, the champions. champions yeah. I fought the champion of the super half. I fought the champion of the half. I fought the champion uh, of the the runner up of the ultra half. Like damn, like I fought everyone. Like was a tough bracket. So the, it's a good test, you know. I need. I know I'm gonna be there mm -hmm. fighting against the best. Yeah. So that's why it's something that. And I don't want to go there and be like sloppy and lose. So that's why I get ready. But I remember like sometimes, okay, you're going to fight this guy. But like, oh my God. So it's never like something that really motivates me a lot to, to do super fights. So that, yeah. that never was like my my biggest motivation for super fights, I think. Do, do you think? trash talkers they like the super fight more because because oh, like yeah. you said it's like it's easier because you already got what you want you don't need like you said it's like you don't you can't talk shit about the worlds and be like see you on the finals and you have to fight a bunch of people then you don't know the, what's going to happen and it's easier to make an excuse if you fight someone that you hate and if you win you're like oh okay yeah i fucking told you if you lose you're like well i was sick the butt the butt yeah. the The no excuse but it is what it is <laughs> but you know I, oh, the, i i listen that it's funny but if you look in the internet you're gonna see that a lot oh, and especially oh, after you listen to this you're gonna start paying attention you're gonna say oh my god yeah. it's true not, not, made, not making any excuse yeah credit to my opponent but he did a good job it was his day he was better than me good job congratulations to my opponent but but when i walk into the gym yeah. on a friday from last week i step on this thing and it, <laughs> not making excuses but it's i'll give you three or four over here <laughs> five if you can doubt it so that's how i i i see it and, and a super fight you talk a lot of trash you talk a lot of crap in the internet then you got the fight At this point, it's 50% chance. chance yeah. You can win or you can lose. lose yeah. So when you sign up for a tournament, you don't even know what's going to happen. You can lose like first round and not even like people not even going to see you. Yeah. You can fight on Saturday and you can even like make it to the and final fucking days. Joe, like Joe Nobody can come and fucking wrist lock you a ninja style that you never seen before in your exactly. life. And then like, like you're going to be like... Uh, not even excuse so then you pretend that they didn't didn't exist so a lot of people do that too you know what i mean so they lose the guy they don't even comment they don't even post it they don't no, even yeah. say anything no, it's, no, it's funny well, it's funny yeah. sometimes you watch social media no it's they... like you know a great example that's like <laughs> I, it's so funny because it's like uh like it's a it's a tough kid like that 
I think it's John Combs or whatever. Comp, that kid, right? He's really good at, like, he's better. He's not, I'm going to say he's really good. He's better in Nogi. I think he won trials for ADCC and things like that. But, like, social media and those things, like, talk to him. Like, he was like, oh, man, this kid's going to fight. Wow. You know, look who's in the card. And they talk about him. Oh, my head. The only thing that I can think about this kid is 47 to 0 and got finished by Lepre on the world on the second fight. Oh, yeah. You maybe, know? Maybe that's something personal was going on. But, I don't but know. But shit. Like 47 to 0. No, that's what I'm saying. And the person 47 fucking, because maybe it was something personal. You I know? don't know. And they, make, and they talk about this kid like he's like, oh, my God. And it's like you think the media... That was in the world, right? Yeah, a world second saying. fight, that's like what, yeah. That's what I'm saying. That was yeah. a great example. You yeah. know what I mean? Not about uh, I'm not about uh, saying the, uh, about the kid, but about like sometimes let's say about media. Yeah. Sometimes when the media push too much, some someone, and sometimes it happens in the world, and then after that, media doesn't talk about like. Yeah, they don't. They never. They, they support. It, and it's I, and I and th- this whole thing too is like I think it's fucked up for two reasons. One. You pump this kid up for no fucking reason. Not not talk about him personally. I'm talking about like an example, right? I, Nothing against the kid. It's like, like about know, no someone. What, it's like sometimes know. they do that. Yeah, they like I don't they know pump what titles he has, but he he got like of course more no gi yeah, stuff yeah. than gi. Yeah, I'm not talking personal about him, but like sometimes the media does that. Like they pump somebody up for no actually reason to pump that kid so much, that if, person so much. If then they, they get killed. And then they the media don't even give the, the 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 credit for for, for, the, for the other guy. Yeah. So that's that's the and, bad thing that I see about. And the media even too. the third thing, they don't talk about the kid for a little bit because it's like, oh fuck this loser, and it's like, so yeah, why the hell like, do you pump yeah, this kid like, up? You know, it's like that's a bad thing. Like you know, it's you're... even worse. It's like you can't pump somebody up. Then once the person loses, instead of you being behind them, like oh man, that was a tough loss, but shit, you know, it's like fuck you know, this like, guy. Yeah, like yeah. Push him on the side. It's like, nah. No, even good job, champ. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no. It's like pretend you don't know him. Yeah, like that's bad. That I, I, I felt that so many times when I lose, and I, I hate this kind of person. And sometimes, okay, this kid gonna win. This kid, blah blah blah. If he lose, okay, okay, he lost, but he lost to a good guy. As yeah. Valid would to say, man, this guy is the best <laughs> guy in the world, but. I beat to, him. I beat him <laughs> yesterday. That was something. It's funny, but it's true. Like, of course, I think that's. Uh, if you wanna give credit to somebody, of course, make peop- give give people fucking credibility. For yeah. It. So that's how that's how I see it. Make no sense. You like you say, oh, okay, this guy sucked, and I beat him. If so what so are you it's like, yeah like it's, your, it's supposed to be him so that's yeah, how people I see should it. be more validi style right it's like this kid amazing it, but he's well, not wrong no he's like Yo, one of the best guards i ever seen in my life but i passed three times <laughs> yeah exactly so I, I i like more this style than just like blasting and forget about it yeah right but it's like oh this kid sucks yeah. but you never finish him like if it sucks so much it's like when did you fucking destroy him right it's like yeah yeah people should do more validity style like pump the guy up oh no my opponent's so tough i don't know man oh i killed him oh yeah okay yeah. <laughs> you know it's like yeah, yeah. So, i don't know now i just i was thinking we were talking about so yeah. what what you didn't say what do you think when dre and gordon gonna fight or not you Man, I, 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 opinion about I, I don't know. I think, I think, because we said that, after okay. after Gordon say something like that, you know, you already had like for example, if if I was Andre and the guy comes to me and be like, hey, I give you this much, this much, my first talk to him, if I agree, the first thing after was like, okay, I agree. When are we shooting to do, do this thing, right? I'll be like, hey, give me a date, or if you know, if Andre needs more time. Because he does, right? Because he has the gym. He has all these obligations. Yeah, and they'll be like, okay, but I need to be in April next year. Boom. You know? Don't fucking do what they're doing. So I don't think Andrea would... I don't think he was going to do it. Because I think maybe he's like... I, I don't I don't think he's scared. But I, I don't think he's... 
I don't really, it, it, I don't know why he's doing this again. Because they already did this one and they're doing it again. So I don't think it's going to happen. Because for that much money, man, anyway, if well, somebody offers you. Yeah, that's that's a good point. If you know, somebody, somebody offers, offers you me, and be like, hey, what's up? But look, I can, I can, I can prove you. I got 10 people invite me to, oh, I want to make you and go uh, Gordon, Gordon Superfly. Then I say, okay, what's the deal? Like, okay, oh, how much do you want? I say, no, 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 no. You call me. I'm not looking you, for a fight. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not looking for a fight. I was at home watching TV and you keep calling me like, I, I'm not negotiating. Like, what do you like? I want to see how people want it. I yeah. don't want to say my, okay, I have my price in mind. Yeah. But I don't want to say, I want to see what people like willing to pay. Yeah, what, like, what, you really yeah. want to see that fire? How much you want to pay? Man. Like, no, what do you want? Man, like a call, call fight, call, man, people call me and arguing with me. Like, okay, what do you want to say? I'm not going to say. You have to say first because yeah. you call me. I didn't call you. And of course, for the right money, of course I fight. Yeah, anyone fight. I'm yeah. like, no, of course. I I I spoke to Gordon. Say, hey, Gordon, we fought. Of course, the fight. If people yeah. will say, okay, it was a great fight, it's lie. Yeah, there was like no points, uh -huh. like a penalty. It wasn't a really good fight. Uh -huh. We can do a much better fight, of course. Yeah, definitely. And that's what I'm saying. No, I think both of us deserve a better fight. Let's do it. Okay, he said, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make like. Find the right promotion, the right money. I said, yeah, I'm down. But then a lot of guys that, then one guy that calls like, okay, I want to give you um, like a code and you post the code and you get a percentage of the cost and stuff. Bro. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Then guy, yeah, like <laughs> uh, I'm going to work a lot, train, promote, and uh, mm -hmm. I just want to find. I don't want to promote and everything. You're supposed to be there. You yeah. you are the promotion. I'm already doing the fight. Yeah, so a lot of that's one one of the reasons that I, I stopped trying. Me and Gordon try to do ourselves to yeah. do something, but then it's gonna it would be a lot of work. And then I just uh, you know whatever. When it happens, it happens. Mm -hmm. But yeah, of course, and it, maybe it happens. It's not something is priority for me right now because I'm focused on my MMA debut. But mm -hmm. it's something on the back of the head that it can happen, you know. Yeah, but yeah. It's not. It's not something that you you're saying is never gonna happen. But no, I never. I never retire. People retire me from jujitsu, so, but I uh, never yeah, did. Yeah, you know you know never. I mean? yeah. I'm just fighting MMA, but I never said, okay, I'm hanging out yeah. my belt, I'm hanging out my gi. Yeah. I never said anything like that. Yeah. You you just don't want to focus right now on on worlds and gi and stuff like that because you. You, you want to build your career on MMA, right? Exactly. And be, be, especially because jiu-jitsu is a weird scenario right now. Yeah, it's Especially weird, because yeah. of COVID and just a couple events. But I fought pretty much everyone the, that's already there. Yeah. Already there. So I don't have motivation at all, of course. Yeah, even well, if it, I think even for you, even, even the motivation of the titles, it kind of... And I think the media, like you said, it's like the, the the trash talk and all the talking and giving credit to people and stuff like that. The media is never gonna give you credit, anyways. If like if you lose, people are gonna be like, "Oh my god!" It's gonna be big news. Yeah, but if you if you if you if you win, it's gonna be like, "Yeah, whatever." Yeah, whatever. Uh, who's talking shit? Okay, oh this guy. Oh shit! Gonna, but you saw that the yeah, the, the lightweight yeah. guy fucking slapped the other guy. Fuck yeah, you know. You know what I mean? Yeah. If I win a world title, like. It's going to be the same um, a weight of, okay, oh, this guy is a world champion, featherweight, and sign up and I will try have. They're going to give the same... Same, same value, yeah. Right? The same value, and it's not it's Sometimes even more. He just signed up. It's not, yeah. not that he went there. Not even won. won the first yeah, fight. Yeah, exactly. So that's how I feel like sometimes. Oh, that's the same importance that my yeah. world title gets. So, you know yeah. what? I'm not doing this, but I never did for so long. Uh, yeah. For for, for this, yeah. for attention, for like. But a, but but the media going against it just even the, I, the, I, I, it I, takes I, the motivation even yeah. more out. You know, it's like you already didn't have a lot of motivation, and but the, the way the media is now, that's like yeah, not, like not like you said, it's like against, but no, but like but like you said, it's like focusing the at, at the wrong, shining the light on the wrong situation. Yeah, that's like freaking like. 
if for example next year we have a world and you and you sign up right if on the same day you fight the open division first right on a saturday like you always did. like you always did and you get to the finals again instead of being like oh my god bishesha made it again to the eighth final ba 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 it's and for example musumasi signs up for heavyweight and he gets killed in the first fight i bet money the picture of the day on the post it's, it's going to have like five pictures of musumasi trying to play guard of the big guy instead of you being like this guy fuck he made it to the finals again yeah i agree you know and 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 like you said it's like man you already did a lot and it's like that would be the hot news the hot right? news yeah. you know so it's like even even like for a person that didn't have the motivation anymore you know and it's not being arrogant or anything it's just like man it gets hard to fucking train and do the training and do everything that you did for the for the titles and chase what are you chasing you know it's like like any person it's like it, it gets to the point that any sport person gets like man I'm fucking tired of doing this you know and if, and if there's no motivation and there's media against you even more it, it just it just takes even the little motivation that you got it's like man i'm gonna fight and people are gonna fucking give credit to this person it's like what the fuck are you even gonna fucking do it you yeah, know it just makes it harder right to yeah, like yeah that's exactly how i feel you know not just because of the media but yeah the, the whole the, everything yeah. everything you know yeah you, you know? get to the finals you win people like yeah. one clap and be like yeah way I to know, go like, people people right now expect me to lose to lose no they like me they are my my, my fans but they, they but, are always like okay okay but she's, she's great okay he be that guy but this guy he not, it'll, yeah. it'll be more it'll, then, then it'll, i be the guy uh, and and about that guy that just got the black belt oh he's good he was like killing everyone yeah. he won the double gold on like Brown Purple belt, belt yeah. <laughs> then I did too. Like yeah. there's always like that. Always like, uh, and about that guy, yeah, uh, and about that guy. So I keep beating these guys. It's, and it's not. It's, it's not. And I think I understand what you're saying. It's like it's not even that they want you to see you beating someone. They're hoping to find someone that can beat, beat you. Yeah, exactly. That's how right. I see. It. Sometimes then you I, win, then people are like, "Yeah, fuck it." Yeah, yeah, but that kid sucked. Well. That guy is really let, good. Let, let me find another rooster. Like, you know, yeah, they yeah. kind of like... Yeah, they're know, trying to find someone. They fight, rooster fight. You know? <laughs> yeah, they, they're like, well, you beat him. Well, but he's young. So, yeah. yeah. Giving him time. Yeah, then like find another person. Well, but he was two weight classes below you. Yeah. And so it's like... They think the people that makes me sick when people give the weight excuse. Like, man, I never see Terere or Marcelo no, Garcia no. complain about like a no kilogram. One. So if even fucking Hoy even open, Hoyler, fuck, Hoyler fucking, he was exactly. a featherweight. He fuck, he got third at the open. If you sign up for the open weight, not even think about a complaint about the weight difference as an excuse. It's like complaining about the rules. Sign up for a yeah, tournament, complain like, about the rules. Exactly. It's like you fucking knew the fucking yeah, rules. Yeah, I sign up, but he was wearing the gi, like you well, knew. The, yeah, the yeah, gi like, words. So yeah. like that's not excuse. Ah, but he was like two kilos, like yeah. <laughs> like that's what well, that's the 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 thing that makes me like sad when people like, not sad angry like yeah. when people complain okay i lost because of the weight like why? well but the, but then but then still you have leonard that made the finals three times and he's heavy but he could fight actually he could people don't know this but we see him and he's like his weight class actually he could fight medium heavy and he was making it to the fucking oh, finals yeah. you know and it's like he fought guys like ultra heavy a lot of the times, like most a bunch of years and super heavy and stuff like that. And he still made it. So it's like, man, I, f I, I remember fighting finals against Leandro against uh, S lightweight, middleweight, medium yeah. heavy, medium heavy, yeah. heavyweight, yeah. Super, super heavy, heavy. but he never was super, super heavy. heavy yeah. he was just fighting the division. And I fought him like in final all the time. He never complained about the weight. He fought the yeah. heaviest guy. I complain more about the weight than he my was. opponents <laughs> than he was complaining. So people like just and he's a guy that he win, he lose, like, you know, it is what it is. He never complains, he never find excuse. The only excuse is he's like himself, okay, I didn't train yeah. as I supposed to. I did my training wrong and that's it. But that's that's a, a sep a acceptable oh, yeah. excuse. Okay, yeah. no, then I did too much, then I did too little, like I'm supposed to train more, I'm supposed to 
Manel, like, oh no, was the light of the event that they, they changed. They, they, they changed. They changed. It was in my eye. When I yeah. blinked, the guy took me down. So that, like, wow. so, I, there yeah. was a one guy on the stand that took a picture. And... Yeah. So the flash was like, yeah, that's all the kind of excuses that. Yeah, I hate that shit too. It's like fucking. So, you, you lost. You yeah. lost. Yeah. yeah. How many times I lose? In the end of the day, it's a good day in the office. If I didn't get hurt, it is no, what it you, is. You, you, right. you even lost fights that the referee clear made a fucking mistake and you're just like oh yeah but that's one one of the things that i respected the most of two guys that people don't ever talk a lot of people call themselves like samurai blah 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 but for me the real ones are is uh they are rafael lovato and claudio calazans because you can win you can see they get robbed and they do complain of yeah. course they do like maybe like complain a little bit but it's okay in the end of the day you shake hands okay yeah. i lost then shake the yeah. opponent's hand but even if he got robbed in the final of the wars or something they don't they, complain yeah. they well, don't do a I, show i, 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 I think kalazan's because one he came from judo right so it's like it's, it's like not even like samurai, yeah, like samurai like, yeah, school. Mentality. And Lovato, man, he been he, yeah, he people don't know. give credit for him. It's so he's like, the best American ever, and people don't grieve him. The best yeah, American. and yeah. like he has more title. He did things that like nobody did, and like and he's still no like gi, gi, no gi, up, ADCC, ADCC, all that stuff. And it's like Bellator champion. Bellator, he was in like zero defeat. He was undefeated. Yeah. And man, that's... and people like talk about him like yeah, whatever. It's like dude, For me, he's one he of won he won open class and eight weight division the nationals. It's like he's the only like Brazilian guy, to, yeah, the Brazilians, yeah, Brazilian nationals. And it's like he went there, Tijuca, Tijuca, man. He'd be fighting like... forever, and people are like talk about him like he was like yeah, whatever. For, for me, know. so I respect a lot of these guys because they. Winning or losing, they go there. They know. Yeah, they don't get you up. never go. You're never gonna see them go in Instagram posts like making excuses. So that's something that I respect a lot. And I fought both of them, and it's always respectful. Either a war and a fight, and but after that, shake hands. And man, if you have to have a, like a beer with them after the the tournament, yeah, the tournament yeah it is what it yeah. is. You're gonna oh, have yeah. and you're gonna have a good time. You share. Man, that's one thing that I, I you ask. think that you think you think the media makes it like some people or the new school make it take it personal more because it's so easy to talk shit and it's like yeah I think they they push to be personal a lot and it, and it's not fucking personal it's just like yeah like like I see the last event the the BJJ bat it was good of course the idea was like betting against like i yeah. see a lot of the fighters okay i bet ten thousand against you blah 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 that was good that's supposed to be personal but at the end of the day everybody shook your hand and was like it is what it, it is it yeah. is what it is you see like leandro Loi merengali yeah. they the one of the biggest ri rival rivalry yeah right yeah rival, uh, so. nowadays and man that for me my opinion was like the best it was a we went so freaking 15 minutes of was, really nice fight. Was the, the one of the best fights of the event, and a lot of respect before, during, and after yeah. the fight. That's how it's supposed to be. People, I think, likes even more when it's like that than like yeah a lot of drama before and before for no and for no because, reason. Yeah, I think the whole thing is like no reason. And it creates an environment that's like unnecessary. It's like exactly. you know, it's like, like it's supposed to be like fighting and. But but Marigali got a little bit better, right? Because it's like the less, not this one, but the last time they fought, he was like wah, 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 talking some shit online. Then then Leandro pushed him and they like create a little bit more yeah, of a drama because, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, because Leandro right? is one of the guys that he he doesn't care about the media. He doesn't care about like what people like. He, if he's personal, he's gonna try to like the old school yeah. mentality. You know what I mean? He he wanna like, fucking fight you. Maybe like fight, and, <laughs> but nobody needs to see. He, yeah. he's gonna be between them, themselves, yeah. and only them. And I think Meringali was was more like okay, wanna get like the attention, but then Leandro got personal. So that's yeah. that's something that you don't want. Uh, the guy that you fight, they they man like I. I one of the reasons that I became so good is because of Rodolfo. You know what I mean? I used yeah. to dream about this guy because like he beat me, so he made me a better fight because 
I, I was training, thinking about him, like, no, I need to be the guy, I need to be the guy. So it's he made me a better fighter. Yeah. So why are you going to be like, you know, like trying to get the bad energy for, for the fight? So, of yeah. course, he pushed me, he made, he made me train harder. So he made me, at the end of the day, he made me a, a better fighter because he made push uh, through my limits. limits yeah. So that's how I see it. So Leandro is helping him, yeah, him and yeah. him is helping Leandro because I see Leandro was like training. To train is good, right? Course, like, yeah. Of course, the other is my friend. And I, I, I was, I was. I hope every day if they fight yeah. all the time. Of course, I'm always gonna be with Leandro. And, yeah. But I can see the same feeling that I have. Um, oh, but with even Rodolfo, it, 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 Leandro, yeah, they Leandro, have. A, they yeah. have but you think Miragali at first he didn't understand that and now he understands this like. I think you getting or you, older. Or, or, or you think he was like the first few years he was like starting the freaking oh the media started talking about him so it got to his head then after he realized it's like man it doesn't it doesn't do that much to me it's just like it's whatever you know yeah i think it's a lot of things but uh, maybe i don't know what could be but maybe he thinks that winning award awards would change his life like, and yeah. it it doesn't So, then, then he went to fight somebody else and he not, he lost like twice yeah, and he was like, oh, of okay, course, yeah. I'm telling you, it doesn't gonna make you like, um, no. a, like a extreme, no, like no, better no. fighter or something. No. But of course, we're gonna bring a lot of positive things and a lot of we're gonna have the positive side. But at the end of the day, it's not gonna be like one title now gonna like flip your life yeah. like that and you're gonna be okay uh, you're the greatest now you and talking to this shit it would not yeah, help you or anything so, yeah yeah at the end of the day it's gonna be a lot of work and i remember rafael chavez yeah. told me and i said yeah i won because he always talks shit that i never would win blah 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 because he always speaking on me and i said yeah i won double goal he said yeah but for people don't say that you're lucky you gotta win twice So next year, I hope you do this. <laughs> so what a fuck! Like, so, but that's yeah, true. Like, right. if you win one time, people gonna people say, say it lucky. was lucky. Yeah. Then you have to do it again. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Then you win the other game. If you lose, then okay, okay, I lose. Then the other year you go there, you win. I say okay. So it makes you ground. It makes you humble. So that's something there. That, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I I understand. It's like. Like you said, sometimes you get, not that you get older, but like him, it's like he's still super young and there's a lot of young guys too, but I think it's more about what you want, right? So it's like, like we can see like Roberto Jimenez, right? Like, man, yeah, he's a man, super nice. Yeah. Man, I, I think he's the kid's going to nice be a, like one of the next big things. Yeah, but you can see him like he wins and he loses, always a smile on the face. He doesn't care. He doesn't talk shit. He goes over there, does his thing. If he wins, he's like, oh, all happy. If he loses, he's like, oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah nice fight. You know, it's man. like, and I think, like, for example, like, another example of this, that's like, I hope this new generation start coming. It would be more like guys like this, right? Like him. Like, even Vitor Hugo, right? The same thing. Like, yeah, he wins, he, he loses, and he's like, boom. I have exactly, nothing to say. So. It's like, oh, thank you. It was a pleasure. Boom. You know, it's like, even the Rucholos, they're the same thing. Like, they lose, they lost, and it's like, it's they're like. Freaking in ego. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then it goes the same thing, the you know. Guys, it's like, like, like I always say, people ask me a lot of times during seminars and who you think is gonna be the next big thing. I always say two names, not now, but since yeah. they were purple belts, uh -huh. I say Roberto Jimenez and Nenego, Nenego yeah. Jansen Gomes. Yeah. So and Nenego, of course, is my teammate, and I see he training, and of course, not yeah. just because I see every day, but I see his results he's yeah. a world champion he just won the last world champion as, as a uh purple purple, belt. Yeah. purple belt now he's a brown belt and Jimenez, man he won the awards as a purple belt and he was one of the last in one in a field that won Double gold as proper belt. Submitting everybody. Submitting everybody. That's fucking. I never done that, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, winning everybody. Yeah, I always, I yeah. did a lot of submissions, but sometimes in the final I didn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's something that impressed me. As a fighter, yeah. as everything that I did. So yeah. And I think it was 11 fights. That's already impressive right there. 
I mean, what it was 11. last fights because of the the when you sign up, you gotta get a medal to sign up. So I think it was less, but in the yeah. end of the day, was a lot. Well, of yeah, man, still, yeah. it's like submit everybody. It was just freaking I crazy. The, yeah, I think the last one who did a lot of fights was Fee. Right. Yeah, yeah. When, oh, when man, he, he did a yeah, lot that was of the fights. last time. Yeah, I think he man, did, he the did last a lot. Fight. Yeah, he did a lot. Of, when Jesus. he fought that kid, what's the name? Gunnar uh, Nelson. No, he fought in the final. The kid that used to climb rope. Uh, to go home. Oh, yeah, the the, the uh, from Zach Samuel, uh, Z- no, Z- Zach, Zach, Zach Maxwell, or something. Zach, like Zach Maxwell. Yeah, 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 yeah they yeah. did the final. Yeah, I don't remember what year. Oh, no, that. but he he did. Oh yeah, the uh, Gunnar Nelson. I think it was on the weight class. I think he did the finals of the the weight class. The, the weight class, yeah. 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 So, no, yeah, yeah, man, it's but yeah, but anyway, it was like something respectful. So and it's even more respectful if you're. I, that's how I see it. So it's even more respectful if it's not about being humble, but it's about not talking unnecessary shit for no reason and and thinking that's gonna be like one thing is you're being like, hey, I'm confident about myself and stuff like that. Another thing, another thing, yeah. it's like talk so much shit and it's like yeah i heard a lot of times people saying oh he's not arrogant like this kid oh he's not arrogant he's confident bullshit yeah. because roger grace marcelo mm-hmm. garcia shandy yeah. ribeiro gordon ryan yeah. me jacare you can tell by the way that they stepping on the mats yeah. they are confident yeah. but they need they don't you don't need to talk Mm-hmm. You know, you need to prove that you are confident. So, so like, but it, it, you being arrogant is one, thing. one thing. Being confident yeah. is yeah. another thing. So yeah. that's how I see it. Yeah, and and the way I see it too, like sometimes nowadays, right? The people that are freaking like trying to be Muhammad Ali and like be, they're confusing yeah. being confident on yourself, and it's one thing. But I think people, they're scared, so they try to overcompensate talking shit and, like, slapping on their chest and being screaming and be like, yeah, man, yeah. You know, then it's like they try to pump themselves up. So they talk, they do all this talking and all that shit to, the, like, pump themselves up to, be like, to bring confidence on themselves, right? Because, yeah. like, like, the examples that you give, like, Lucas Lepre, he's, like, barely yeah. freaking talks. He's don't like, even know his voice. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> But man, I bet he's confident about stepping in the mat. Oh, yeah. And and another thing, it's like, I remember once where me and Rodolfo, you were having dinner, you guys talking about like, Rodolfo was talking about the world. And he was like, man, I fought this guy. I didn't know who he was. Oh my God, I was so scared. And I was like, what the? F-? I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, yeah, man, you never know what's going to happen. And it's like, and that's a d- different thing. It's like, you're confident and you respect everybody. You know, it's like, yeah. On the, on the first day, you like you're not gonna be like confidence being. I think that's the difference between confidence and being arrogant, right? Like a person yeah. arrogant will look at someone and be like, "Man, eh, whatever this guy, yeah. you know, I'm gonna smash him and stuff like yeah, that." Yeah, like I, I I like to watch like a lot of like things that motivate me and makes me yeah. do what I do. And I remember watch this like Mike Tyson documentary, like when mm-hmm. he's saying like, "Yeah, when I'm walking to the ring, when I'm in the changing room." I'm I'm scared to death. I think I'm gonna. I don't know if this guy is like gonna. I can get humiliated. I can, yeah. The guy can beat me. So when he's walking to the ring, he still thinks like a lot of negative thoughts. But once he steps in the rings, he's a god. Yeah. Like there was something like damn. Yeah. And man, that's exactly how I feel. Like man, I don't know if I'm ready. Okay, I did. I think I'm not in good shape. But then, mm-hmm. man, I don't know. Like every time then when I'm when I'm getting red, yeah. when I'm sitting on the stands, like I said, everybody's left. Yeah, Shisha, let's go there one more year. So, damn, like, I don't know if I'm ready, you know. Then I start doing my thing. Then I put my rock ball ball song, <laughs> run, <laughs> down, the run down the stairs, start warming up. Of course, I'm, I was nervous. I was, like, in doubt it if yeah. I'm win- But by the time that then I go there, I never had like a mental coach or anything, but then I have a like I start having a conversation with myself. I watch everybody acting tough, everybody like yeah. mean face, and everybody like yelling, singing, and I say, you know what, forget all this, and I start having the conversation you with myself. Yeah. Why I'm doing this? Find the right reasons. I, I think a lot of people, why you do this? I say, it doesn't matter what you do in life. 
you have to find the right reasons. That's yeah. what I do when I'm wa warming up. Before yeah. warm up, I sit there, have the talk with myself. So I think that's most important than the warm up itself. Because after you find the right reasons why you're doing it, like like I, yeah, I'm not doing it for my family, for yeah. my friends, for my teammates, uh, for my t uh, my team, and I'm doing this because of I want to. Jiu-Jitsu is my passion. Mm -hmm. Jiu-Jitsu is my life. That's what I choose to do. Then okay. That makes me feel good. Then by the time that the referee say, okay, like, come, it's something that, okay, it changes. So it's I, I feel exactly what like, Mike Tyson said. When you step in the ring, it. I'm a god. Yeah. That's when I'm stepping in, like, I'm not in doubt with it anymore. I say, you know what? Let's have fun. Fighting Let's do it. it. Yeah. That's, then that's why I fight, like, that's why I'm still fighting yeah. the wars. I mean, that's why I fought for so long. So long, yeah. Because I fought the right reasons. And I don't need to act tough and act like but, but but the whole thing it's i think that mentality that things that you guys feel right like you mike tyson like even hodolfo saying that he was like scared and i seen personally freaking leandro gets the same way he even throws up and shit like that he gets so nervous sometimes but after shake but, hands it's yeah after shake hands yeah. like boom let's go right and there's this guy from the from the crossfit world it doesn't even to be fighting right for example like his the past four years he won like pff, easy over everyone he didn't lost one tournament after and you can see like behind the scenes videos that when they line up before they go inside the court uh -huh. to do the workout and you can see him like he going to the corner and he's like throwing up and everybody's like what's up with that he's like oh man i got so nervous before but but then he said it's like once i'm there i'm like okay yeah it's like, that's, you know that and it's a, and i think that's what made you guys be great at what you guys do you know it's just like that inside flame that makes you the doubt but the doubt makes you the pump the adrenaline and makes you guys like perform the the way you guys do you know and yeah like there is a couple of fights that of course i fought for the wrong reasons and some i won some i lose but yeah. one fight i remember that i fought for the wrong reasons that i never did that in my life never at all but this fight i asked myself before going to the the mat I was warming up. Then I look at Leo. I said, Leo, I don't know what I'm doing here today. Then I lost the fight even before I stepped in the fight. Yeah. So I, I never spoke yeah. anything about that. But no, but but who knows you? Like, I remember I wasn't there, but I was watching the fight. Yeah, like everybody, and, like, and I yeah, saw it and I was happy. like, there's something wrong. And it's but like, yeah. why I fought? Wrong reasons. Yes. I was yeah. happy. I was like, you know, celebrating still like a title. Mm -hmm. And then I fought for money. But wasn't the type of fight that I shouldn't be because of money, and yeah. and then I lost. But I know I did for the wrong reason. So you know, I'm not saying that I could lose. Yeah, not not lose if you're fighting for the right reasons. But I mean, yeah. I could lose. Yeah. But at least I would fight better. Yeah, I fought. I I lost so many times, like fighting for the right reasons, and I lose. But. It is what it is. And sometimes I won fighting for the wrong reasons, but I won. But I still like, oh, man, I shouldn't accept. That's why I said that's what I accept, uh, happens a lot with super fights. Because yeah. most of the time, like, I'm, yeah, maybe I fight for the money, but I don't really want to fight. But yeah, okay. whatever. And then that happens with me a couple of times. That's why I, said, I feel that mostly in super fights. But if I sign up for the words, you know, get a penny. For yeah, winning. yeah, you you doing for the so, honor, yeah, right? You're yeah, you doing for the honor. You know what I mean? Yeah, but the but the whole the, but do like you, Leandro has yeah. all the reasons. Oh you know? my god, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, Leandro is he's a samurai. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, revenge, no, no, <laughs> revenge, is like night club. honor, <laughs> honor, revenge, and nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that, you know what I mean? So yeah, I don't no. blame him. Yeah, it works yeah, for him. Hey. But what, I remember what, when I was, of course, now I'm super close. Leandro is like my big friend. But I remember before I said, well, like, I remember one time people were like, he was in a cover of a magazine and the the subject was like asking Leandro and all like, they're going to get like 20 world champions asking him questions about like, you know, well, like he was my friend at the time already. But I said, what are you going to ask him? You know what I mean? Like, then I said, oh, man, that's something like, what drives you? Like, what motivates you? you? Like, there was something that he said, like, yeah, I always, 
if I get tired of winning one one division, I go to the other division because then it's gonna be the whole it's different the, like, yeah. motivation. The, so the, I said, different oh, people yeah, to hunt makes sense. I never had this because we'll try have yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that doesn't that's not gonna work for yeah. me. So I have to find my own reasons. You know, because yeah. kind of like let's kind of find my own reasons. Do you, the, then do you, I did. Do Do you think it freaking like like trash talk will push people's buttons to? To start doing shit like that like for me or for, for not for anyone that like someone will start talking and talking and talking then they get to the point they were like man i just want to beat this guy just to like he need to shut the fuck up maybe before a short period of time yeah because that's it, not gonna drive you for so long maybe yeah. if you talk like a lot of shit but there's gonna be so much pressure that you're gonna be the guy then okay there's gonna be like a lot of weight out of your shoulders Okay, let's do again. Oh no, oh, again. Yeah. No, I can't do it. So you know, you have to so, talk the shit, pump it up, and freaking do the fight. What else? It's gonna get freaking. Yeah, no, I mean, you can do it, but that's not gonna be the motivation forever. You're gonna fight one guy, at, but even if you hate the guy, you respect the guy because he's gonna be a tough fight for you. So the trash talk gonna work for a while, but at the end of the day, it's not gonna be something. Maybe for one time, I think works yeah, really works, well, yeah. but. Not for the long time. You see, freaking like McGregor and like Mayweather. Oh, you yeah. think they not? They don't like each other. They, oh, they love like, each other. They love each other. I mean, <laughs> of course. They but after the fight, they respect it a lot because yeah. what? Because of that, they made but, a lot of money. But but, and, but but after you get the check, you almost want to kiss him. It's like yeah, oh, exactly. so, so much. The, and like, people <laughs> don't see that. They like. You know what I mean? Like, Nate Diaz and McGregor, you think they don't like each other? Of oh, course yeah, they of do. Of course they do. And they are really tough, and they respect, oh, man, this guy's tough. So you got to respect that guy. So yeah. the trash talk is always going to be less and less because you start respecting your opponent, opponent more yeah. and more. That's how I see it. And that's how, like, the first and, fight. And you can of- freaking start hunting everybody talking shit because it gets to the point that it's like, oh, man, this guy talking shit again about someone? Yeah, and so that's how I see it. it. It works, but for a short period of time. It doesn't work for too long. Yeah. Do you think the the media is helping the most of the... It's weird because you don't see a lot of... A Bra- you see one or two Brazilians talking shit, but it's more of an American culture. Do you think it because the, all the media is more American, so it's easier for the Americans to talk some shit, or it's a, more of a... We, the Brazilians are still a little bit more martial art and not so much talk shit and being as a sport and it's a cultural thing? I don't know, man, because I think it's a different culture. It doesn't work like that. Brazilian never really like it that much. Even for MMA, Brazilians yeah, never... They, don't. Uh, they were like target for talking. Yeah. Like... Like on this is on this on Silva, uh, uh, now it's like yeah they exchange some words and yeah but like people were talking about them and kind of they like shooting back but it's not something about our culture it's even for like soccer it was never like that you know always Brazilians like to show doing it yeah on the more. field like uh-huh. on the mat in the ring in the cage whatever but. So I think I, it's I don't see it's not natural for Brazilians. For Americans, it's more natural, but for Brazilians, yeah. like yeah, I th- I think it's more because of the like the boxing culture, right? So like a lot of the boxers, and you see like Muhammad Ali and all those guys, and they talk shit and on the beginning, and you can see like football players and basketball players talking shit about teams and victories and. You know, they all have like rivalry and stuff like that. And yeah, it's like, yeah, and you see, like by the nicknames, they yeah. they force too much. The Americans, they, they sometimes they ne- force, they push too much. Oh, like the guy never guy, did it. The guy never they, did an MMA fight. He already had a nickname. Yeah, the killer. Yeah, yeah is that the assassin? <laughs> the slayer. Like you never fought I mean? before. <laughs> already have a nickname. It's so like, and they try to push, but never like stick. Oh, well, yeah. even the freaking jujitsu. There's like blue belts that have like already like logos, and you're like, That's what the fuck? You never know, dude. It's like. And you see, like, you do not even know if you're gonna. I it took me like six, like five years of like black belt. So like, one guy was like, "Hey, you need to do a logo." I was like, "Man, I don't have a school. What the hell am I gonna do a logo?" 
<laughs> and the guy is like, no, you have to. The Nip- white belts, they, they got that already. Yeah, they already have one. They already have the black yeah. belt that they're going to wear. Yeah. 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 yeah, because they're going to get it, right? They're yeah, going to open the school. So. They need a logo already. Yeah, they, they know they, the future already. They have already the belt just waiting for mm-hmm. the right time. Oh, That's weird. And even for Brazilians, you're saying like about like, but sometimes they, I see like that's the most ridiculous thing. They give their self nicknames. No, so, Jesus. Know, like, yeah. like what, a nickname for Brazilians is something they gotta stick and yeah. most of the time that's, that's it's something never good. Hate. It's it's making fun of you. Yeah, like freaking bushesha. Yeah. That's something that No, it's not even hate you, it's just like it's either something that it it's an attribute to your like physical appearance or yeah, stuff like that. Like, but it's like that's not something that ninety percent of the time it's like Leozinho, like like a small like a small L, right? Or yeah, like, but that's something that is not like, yo, the lion, no, the no, killer, yeah, no, the yeah. lion killer, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like something that, yeah. oh and my God. that you can see there about the, it's, that's related of the trash talking because then it's yeah. never like something that to intimidate and to something that gonna help you to promote as you are tough or not. So that's how I see it. So for yeah. Brazilians, doesn't work really well. We yeah. we 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 skip the we miss the the class on the, 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 the intimidation class on intimidation and, yeah, yeah part. Yeah, I know, and I know, and I know it's it, it it's kind of I don't know it's kind of weird because like they do a, a lot of them they do a they they do a lot and it's weird because it's like some of them do it and it's it, I think jujitsu worse than MMA because MMA is still like you talk some shit. And you can clearly see this guy just wants to go up the rank or that he wants to arrange a fight. But then you have people that are like, they talk like they're the greatest guy ever. And they did one thing or two things. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, like Orlando Sanchez, he's a nice guy, but he talks and he posts about himself. Like he's the greatest grappler ever in the history of the world. You know? And it's like, the beast is coming back. The greatest heavyweight ever, and it's like, but you you, you want you won one ADCC, but at least never score a point. But he won, you know what I mean. But, but a exactly. lot of times, but the, but the whole thing is like the never... way he talks. It looks like he won everything five times, and he's like, you can't consider yourself the greatest heavyweight ever if you never, if you only won once, and when you went won, you never even scored a point. It was all by yeah, ref decision. Like, yeah. Yeah, but, but at the end of the day, like how many people that talk shit and never really win a fight, a freaking fight or two no. in the ADCC? No, yeah, there, so there's a that's, lot. That's a lot, you know what I mean? But so, I, but I understand it's like, but 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 that's the whole thing. I think it make it worse because if you won and you're talking shit so much, it's like, dude, it's like, okay. You understand? It's like, yeah, you won and everything, but still, it's like you don't need to talk that much shit. Nah, but then, if the person ever won, and he wants to get called out to ADCC and stuff like that. You know, you you can understand. He's like, oh, this guy wants to like have a chance. He wants to show off. Like he doesn't need to talk so much shit. Yeah, like I like but Orlando. No, I know. Yeah. I'm not saying I don't like yeah, him. Yeah, no, I'm saying. I, I yeah, mean, you know, it's like, I, I, but. I, like like the same thing that we say about Gordon, I, yeah. I get it, his humor, you know what I mean? Sometimes like yeah. he says some like funny stuff and and it, at the like I said, he won the the Yeah, he won the DCC, so at least he has the right to say something about it. But people who never really win and yeah, I'm the biggest. Like, I won the trials. Like, oh man, come on! Like, don't, 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 don't even start. I, like, I won know? three times the trials, but I never won a fight on the ADCC. Yeah, like yeah, I saw that happening before. You know, yeah. so like, so make no sense. No, and and even people giving credibility to it, like he never, he won three trials. Oh my god! But it's like, but he never even won a fight on the on the actually event. So it's like, yeah, who cares if you won the trials? I agree with that. And I, I know it's I like see that that is like no point. Yeah, and like and people like yeah, see yeah, nobody never passed my guard. Like what are you talking about? So There's the videos guy, of it. The guy, the guy choking him out. <laughs> yeah, he got my back. He choked me, but he didn't never pass my, my guard. guard. <laughs> like, so good. seriously, and <laughs> I had conversation with people like that. And the guy, yeah, I never did this. Like 
Then no, I, I saw one I guy saw, passing uh, your guard, uh, that uh, tough guy. That, this yeah, fight. but that was the guy was tough. Oh, so oh, <laughs> like, okay. So so you we were talking about there's there's a division a a, a belt rank. Yeah, and, like man, I remember woke one quote of one guy that <laughs> they're like, yeah, I beat everyone. I just lost to this guy. Oh, so lost <laughs> losing <laughs> losing to that guy Doesn't is acceptable. Count. Yeah. Yeah. No, but he's the toughest one. Like, so, oh my well, god. Exactly. What Should a what a champion's mind. Oh, huh? Wow. Like, yeah. Well, you can't. You don't need to go that far. This new kid show up at the gym and he gave exactly that speech. Yeah, my kid's amazing. The dad was like, "My kid's amazing. He did this at Pan Am's. He only lost to Mika Galvão. But, but he lost." Yeah, but it's it was only by four points, and it's like oh, four points. That's a line of fight. I know, and I'm like, it doesn't matter if it's a point or the advantage, whatever. Yeah, but, it's like but you even lost. though it's it, a lot, yeah, it's like yeah, like yeah, it, people it, like try to win. Yeah, I lost, but like was one advantage, but but you, you lose. lost. But yeah. yeah, you did one. Well, okay, we have an hour and forty minutes. I think that's that's pretty much it. We're we're done talking. Uh, thank you for coming. Oh, really? We're not done. We have a uh, lot of talk. We have like, a lot of talk, shit but it's to talk shit, about. But it's like, yeah, man, keep Maybe talking about the same. Yeah, same, the same subject. It has. It, it gets. It gets to the point. That's like, we're done talking. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you for coming. You know, appreciate it. Um, uh, thank you for the invitation. It's always good to try to say like some true talk. Yeah, people really deserve that sometimes and. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, of course not. Th thank you and uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, subscribe to our podcast. We're going to have it on podcast, YouTube. Uh, follow us. Give us some attention so we can spread the, the true talk on the BJJ world. And see you guys on the next one.